Steve Brodner is very, very interested in technology and exploits it and adapts it in his work. One of the great uses of technology that he's developed is his collaboration with filmmaker Gail Levine in a series of videos meant for airing on the internet called The Naked Campaign. Gail Levine is an established documentary filmmaker working in New York and her credits include documentaries for PBS uh, in independent projects. So the two of them got together recently in the fall of 2007 and have produced these mixed media basically, animation, live action, Steve talking about candidates and indeed the political campaign beginning with the pre-primary in 2007 and continuing right through the general election in 2008. The, we've combined numbers of these on two different loops in the show to give our viewers a sense of how the campaigns progressed and how Steve and Gail Levine have interpreted. What we've tried to do in this show is to involve the public with some of Steve Brodner's latest work, Moke's current work. As an illustrator, political illustrator, he's always on deadline, always looking for the latest gaffes, the latest slips of those uh, masks of the political candidates. What we've done for our visitors is to provide the most immediate examples of Steve Brodner's art. And the only way to feasibly do it in a museum exhibit is through the exploitation of technology, specifically internet technology. And this touch screen here in front of me um, is tied directly into Steve Brodner's website, his person of the day blog, to use the popular parlance, so that the public can actually see what he's looking at lately, what he's working on right now. Um, and it changes on a daily basis. So people can have a sort of visceral interactive experience with Steve Brodner right here in the museum. And that was the idea. This wall shows the most recent work that Steve Brodner has produced, the campaign season of 2008, specifically the primaries from January right up through May of 2008, beginning with Iowa and ending with Pennsylvania. Brodner produced an incredible amount of work for the public and for his website. So what we've tried to do is to show you wonderful examples of Brodner's work, the best of, if you will, of his recent work. We wanted to keep the show and keep this part of the show as topical as possible. So at the very beginning, we talk about the battle for Iowa, which Brodner framed in religious terms, showing images like Oprah Winfrey as the Madonna and Obama as the Christ child, with Oprah saying, is he the one? We have Hillary Clinton as Joan of Arc and various other uh, religious figures. This particular piece transcends the 2008 campaign and shows us specters of campaigns past. Bill Clinton as King Kong holding Hillary as if he, she is a Fay Ray figure, again a popular culture reference, whereas Ronald Reagan, shown as Godzilla, is supporting the Republicans, McCain, Romney, and Huckabee on their side, and they're both doing battle with each other, of course. When we, finally, when we get to Pennsylvania in the spring of 2008, when Hillary and Obama were slugging it out, Steve Brodner uses an art historical reference to an Ashcan school artist, George Bellows' work called A Night at Sharkies, or Stag at Sharkies, as sometimes it's called, where you have these two boxers killing each other. And in this case, Hillary and Obama beating each other to death as newspaper reporter John McCain takes notes for future reference. It's really quite uh, tongue-in-cheek and snarky again. Brodner is quite an incredible character, as you can see. Uh, he loves to have fun. And that's one of the great things about this show. It's a fun show. Um, tongue planted firmly in cheek. Brodner just lets it fly. <laughs>